This is a dream come true for me as a director because you're picking up the mantle of something that so many talented writers and artists have worked on for so many decades. And we knew that we wanted to tell an original story within the Fallout universe. We were drawn to the idea of creating characters who would embody the different factions that Fallout is so famous for. So a vault dweller, a ghoul, a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. We wanted to show as much of the world as we can through different lenses. And it just makes you lean in. My name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor to the well-being of my community. She is doing her duty. She's rebuilding America. And then she really has her whole world rocked. She comes out onto the surface and experiences the world for the first time. Excuse me. Hi. I just want to ask you for directions. And then it gets real ugly, real fast. Hello again. The ghoul is, is someone who has seen the worst that we have to offer as human beings. He's about as ruthless as they come. Fallout explores the chasm between the haves and the have-nots in a world where it's kill or be killed. We find Maximus as a recruit. He's a part of the Brotherhood of Steel. Seeing these T-60s, something that symbolizes power, it's a moment of awe. The introduction of Lucy, and I don't think it's anything that he would have ever expected. The Wasteland is very different from the vault. Fallout does a really great job of showing both sides of that coin. I love a big setting. So to be able to juxtapose the real human emotions with this large scale is a kind of story that I like to see. There's a tone reminiscent of the good, the bad, and the ugly meets Dr. Strangelove meets Star Wars balancing the darker, more emotional moments with the profound humor creates the unique tone of Fallout. You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. Practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. You have never been on a ride like this before. You look out at this wasteland, it looks like chaos. But there's always somebody behind the wheel. Oh! <laughs>